Hi guys, in my today video, uh, I'm gonna show you how to test a relay using a multimeter uh, to identify whether the relay is in good condition or uh, not. So as you have seen here, there are some relays, a relay with four pin, and there is a relay with a three pin and there is uh, also a relay with a five pin or five terminal. So this relay uh, has a code near to the pin, as you have seen here. There are uh, numbers given for each pin on the uh, terminals. Here there is a terminal 85, on this side there is a terminal 86 and there is terminal uh, 30 here and there is also a number here terminal 87 on this side so when we are checking this relay using a multimeter uh, first we have to identify the uh, terminal codes and then after we are identifying the codes we have to check for how much volt is using the relay here there is a 12 volts and 80 ampere is using on this relay but in some relays also you can find a different uh, rating here there is a 12 volt and 30 ampere but it depends on the type of relay uh, but here uh, we have uh, this rating so when we are checking this uh, we will check uh, two things on this one. The first one is a resistance reading or home reading. That means uh, we have to check for the resistance of this uh, coil or winding inside the relay, which is producing a magnetic field and attracts the one of the terminal from one of the contacts from mm, this uh, terminals and then connect the two uh, while it is energizing. So to check the resistance first we have to set our multimeter on resistance range I set on 200 ohm and So when we are uh, connecting our multimeter probe between terminal 86 and 85 it will give us uh, a reading Seventy-two point It gives us sixty-nine sixty-nine point six uh, home. So this indicates the home reading or the resistance of this coil inside this relay is uh, sixty-nine home. So uh, the value depends on the type of uh, model and uh, relay, uh, but it ranges from 50 up to uh, 200 when we are measuring the resistance. In some relays uh, we can find another value, but it is between uh, 50 and 200. So in this way we can measure the resistance of this uh, relay. And the other thing what we have to check here is a continuity between uh, terminal 30 and terminal 87 so here terminal 30 and terminal uh, 87 are normally open uh, terminals there is no uh, connection inside as you have seen here there is an open contact shown in this uh, inside since they are open we have to check for the continuity and uh, it should not give us a continuity uh, indication because if there is a continuity the relay is stuck closed inside so to identify or to check this we have to uh, put our probes into the two terminals 87 and 30 and then we'll check for the continuity to do this we have to set our multimeter selector into the continuity mark or the diode uh, symbol uh, first we have to check for the multimeter whether it is give us this indication now uh, the multimeter is indicating us as it is checking for the continuity to check the continuity uh, we'll 
put one end of our probe on the uh, 30 and one end to 87. On the relay here, this one is 30 and this one is 87. So when we are uh, checking these two terminals, it's not giving any continuity. As you have seen here, there is no any continuity. But when we are checking the multimeter, there is a continuity. But here it's not showing us any continuity. So this shows internally the relay terminals are open. So since the relay is normally open type, this relay is now in good condition. But we have to check for uh, one more thing. We have to connect the power supply for uh, terminal 86 and we have to connect ground from the battery to the terminal 85. When we are doing this, uh, the coil is energizing and it contacts 87 and 30 inside. When we are checking previously, there is no any uh, continuity between the two terminals. But now, after we are energizing the relay, when we are checking, it gives us a continuity. As you have seen here, now when we are checking these two ends, it is giving us a continuity because we have given power to 86 and then we have connected this one to ground and this coil is now energized and connected these two terminals and power can flow at this moment so when we are checking after supplying power the terminals between 30 and 87 it gives us continuity but if we disconnect or if we are removing the power supply from the terminals, there is no continuity. So if the relay is in this condition, we call it's in a good uh, condition. So this is how to check a relay using a multimeter. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe uh, my channel. Thank you.